Hey, welcome to Ridge Kids Online. We hope that you enjoy this video. Some super cool cars. There's some rescue cars too. There's a fire truck, a mail truck, a dump truck, and oh no, there's a cat stuck in the tree. I wonder if any of my cars can help. Do you think the mail truck can help? No, the mail truck can't help the cat. What about the dump truck? Do you think the dump truck can help the cat? No, the dump truck can't help the cat. What about the fire truck? Can the fire truck help the cat? Hooray! The fire truck can help the cat. I can use the ladder and help the cat out of the tree. Who? Who? It's Ali! Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Helping cats out of trees, are you? Yes, I am. My new fire truck and I saved the day. You helped the cat. It's true. 
I know someone who needed help, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Great job, Stormy Jane. You are such an awesome helper. Oh, hey friends, I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. She was just helping me clean out her dog house. Look at how many toys were in there. <laughs> yes, it was a lot of toys. I definitely needed help getting them all out. And we all need help sometimes. And the best thing is that God made us to help. That's the sign for help. Can you do it with me? That's right, God made me and you to help. And in the Bible, there is a story Jesus told about helping others. Do you want to hear it? Great! The story Jesus told began with a man walking along a road. All of a sudden, some people came and hurt the man. Oh no! The hurt man had so many boo-boos. He needed help. Oh look! Here comes someone! Maybe he will help the hurt man. Do you think he will stop and help? Hmm, let's see if he stops. Oh no, he didn't stop to help the hurt man. He just walked on by. Oh yay, here comes someone else. Maybe he will stop and help. Do you think he will stop and help? Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, he didn't stop either. He just walked on by. Now what is the hurt man going to do? Oh wait, oh, there's another person coming. Uh-oh, he is a Samaritan. The Samaritan's family and the hurt man's family were not friends. Do you think the Samaritan will stop even though he wasn't friends with the hurt man? Oh, I can't wait for you to see what happens. Look, the Samaritan is stopping. He's helping. He's giving the hurt man bandages for his boo-boos. He's putting the hurt man on his donkey and he's taking him to a place to stay to get better. Hooray for helping. Everyone cheer with me. Hooray for helping. The Samaritan in this story did what God made us to do. He helped. And we can help people too. Because God made you and me to help others. Hooray for helping. Oh, hey Ollie, tell me, who made you to help others? God made me to help others. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me. Who made you to help others? God made me to help others. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God made people to help. That means you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God made me to help others. Just like the Good Samaritan, fire trucks, and my teacher, I can help others. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm going to see if anyone else in the town needs help. See you next time, friends! We have the Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32 8. We have the Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32 8. We hope you enjoyed this video. Now, parents, if you would like to kind of talk about this a little bit more with your kids, please head over to our website. There is more resources, devotionals, and a discussion guide. And if it's your first time visiting, don't forget to click and subscribe so that you can get updates when new videos are added. That's it. We hope you have a great week. Bye! Bye.